Ooh. Yeah. It says Pasporte al Español. It says animals vivos. Animales vivos. <laughs> Fred Hill. <laughs> este lado arriba. <laughs> Hola, bienvenidos. I'm going to be talking about El Pasporte al Español from BJU Press. That's it right there. All right, friends, welcome. And if we haven't met yet, I'm Ashley and I've been homeschooling my three kids for the last seven years. And I'm glad you're here. I am so excited to share with you my review of BJU Press's El Pasporte al Español. Um, it is a huge entire kit that you get when it comes to your house or your classroom and you get to teach Spanish to your kids. So this is my take on it. If you'd like to see more, then stick around. generous. They approached me and asked which curriculum I would like to use in order to do a review for them. And I saw their list and I was like, Spanish, of course. Yes. Duh. I love teaching Spanish to my kids. In my experience, I have a passion for Latinos and Latinas in my community. And I have had a fascination with Spanish and learning the language ever since I was in high school. I'm not fluent really, but I do know enough to get around. And I have taught a few English lessons and Spanish lessons to friends. But I thought, why not? Let's try a curriculum this year and see how it goes. What's what's the worst that could happen, right? So thankfully, BJU Press sent me their entire pack for this curriculum. I It came to my door and I was like, what? Really? I was so excited to dive into it. My kids were thrilled. They tore open the box and they started digging into everything in there. I do have teaching Spanish experience myself but I thought it would be kind of nice to take that load off of me and to use something that's already been created and, and use what BJU Press had offered. So here's my full honest review and my experience with this curriculum. So one of the things you get with the curriculum is, lots of things, um, but you get the, the Choco Puppet. Hola, me llamo Choco. My kids really like him. Lessons use him to help uh, to help with conversation and gives the kids somebody to talk to. They love taking turns with him. I can't get him to get out of my hand. <laughs> they love taking turns with him, but um, you can use him with the uh, curriculum. Okay, so they sent me all the materials plus the teacher's guide, but they also sent me the DVD set for the um, distance learning, I guess, or the um, basically the DVD version of the lessons. And um, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna need that at first. I'll just teach it myself. They, they give you the song CDs. It has all the songs on here um, in Spanish and it has uh, uh, pronunciation help and everything, which is great. So what I ended up doing was I was like, let's dive in. And I wasn't teaching anything else at the time. We kind of did it over our summer break um, and we did Spanish only. And it went okay, but um, I had one child who really loved it and was really into it. Um, my other two were really struggling to get into it. So my goal was to teach two, three days a week using the lessons, teaching it myself, and then them watching a video one day a week. That was my goal. And I noticed when they watched the videos, they did just fine. They followed along. Um, the teacher in the video is clear and easy to follow. Um, they have some other characters that they can follow along on the video. And actually after several weeks of trying it with me teaching, I ended up moving to them just watching the DVD. The great thing is, is I still have all the supplies and we still use all the posters and the, the puppets and the reading books that come with it. So we use all the supplies that we have, but I'm not the one teaching it anymore. And it's actually worked really well for us. The one thing, good thing about that is it's one less thing that I have to teach and prepare for. Um, if, if I was a classroom teacher, I would go for this. Or if I was teaching this class for maybe a co-op group or at a Christian school, then I would, be, I would be very, very happy with this curriculum and definitely use it as a teacher. But as a homeschool mom, because I have so many other subjects to be teaching, I decided that I'm just going to have them watch the DVD and follow along and that's going to be our Spanish lesson for the day. We're able to get a whole lot more lessons in that way and I feel a little bit more freer to focus on other things and I have more brain space for other things. So even though I'm not teaching the curriculum anymore, I'm still following along with what they are learning and I'm trying to use the vocabulary with my kids as we're talking throughout the day and when we're out in public and meeting people and things like that. 
I love this. I love exposing my kids to other cultures and other countries and people who are not just like them. So I love that this adds a diversity to our homeschool day. So let's take a look inside the teacher's manual and the student workbooks. Hola, bienvenidos a Pasporta al Español. Este es the teacher's edition. So hey guys, um, for those of you who don't speak Spanish, welcome. I'm going to show you a uh, peek inside Pasport al Español uh, from BJU Press. So um, we, they comes with a student work text. This is super simple. This is uh, level one or unit one, sorry, I think kit A. Um, and then there's two other ones that came with the kit, but uh, these are super simple. I'll show you those a peek of those in a second. But um, if you decide to teach this um, on your own, whether you're a homeschool mom or if you were a teacher in a classroom, um, this is what you will be doing. Meet Pepito. And then it has the overview of your unit. Um, and I like there's a vocabulary overview. You can see all the words you're doing. And then it has, uh, this is the overview of lessons one through eight. And then it has lesson one. So it breaks it down, like it goes from, goes from bigger, it goes down a little bit further into unit one, then just the first section of unit one, and then you have each individual lesson. Um, I found them super easy to follow and there was almost too much information. I really probably just needed a, I could probably teach the lessons just from here, I noticed. Um, but they, they break it down for anybody who just needs it. Like, okay, what do we do first? Then what do we say? And then what do we say here? Um, but they give you it in a nice detailed version here for each lesson. Um, and I found doing the lessons with the kids when I taught it uh, really didn't take that long. We actually, I think we did lesson one and two in one sitting. So the, when I did the lesson, it really took us like 10 minutes maybe. Um, yeah, really short. Sometimes it was, it could go up to about 15, uh, but they tell you uh, which materials you need for each lesson, uh, the pictures that you're gonna need there and the page that the kids are gonna do in the work, in the work text. So this was super easy to follow. To you, so it has all the things to review. Um, they made it clear as to which um, which um, track I needed to do. Uh, for example, down here, um, it tells you if you wanted to use the CDs that that, that come with it. Um, it tells you which track to use there in that lesson. That was super easy to follow. Then you get into step two, and then they get to meet. Hey Ludo, right? Yeah. And then they have songs included. I love that they include songs. That's how my kids learn. We we're singing all the time. So especially with learning new language or learning scriptures, um, I love that they have songs for um, most of the lessons. Uh, they have stories that it comes with. Um, they get to read a book. Yeah, so good thing. So it just, that's it. That's just what each of the lessons look like. For the work text, you would you would need one of these for each student. Um, some of it was uh, pretty simple for my older kids. So, but my five-year-old, my four and almost five-year-old, um, it fit him really well. So it's almost too simple for him. I would say that's my only thing is this is too simple. Um, they probably could have upped the level for this a, a little bit. Um, if you're teaching a classroom full of children. Uh, whether it be with a homeschool co-op or a Christian school, um, these would be the kids to, for them to take home and show it to their parents. So it has a little review activity that they would do at home with their kid, with their parents, not their kids, with their parents. Um, and then it has the um, the verse or the phrase that the kids are learning, um, and just more practice with using the vocabulary that they learned for um, each lesson. There's a copy of the song that they learned in that unit. Um, and you can see my son already did. He likes dot to dust. <laughs> and he likes drawing fla the, the, those flowers and cinco clouds. <laughs> uh, there's even a recipe to do at home with the families. Jehovah es, es mi pastor. The Lord is my shepherd. So they, they pick super simple short verses for the kids to do. Um, my thought again is they could probably do a little more than this so i think they underestimate some of the kids and what they can do but for the kids that really do just need more practice with pronunciation and just time to figure out what in the world they're saying um it is nice to have that short verse so yeah this is just a cute little simple thing it really took my kids to do five minutes so it looks like they get a little bit more difficult as you go along as you can see here 
they have not gotten to this, these lessons yet. Dios es bueno. about this is the cost. If you're looking for something affordable, it's a little bit more pricey than what I would normally pay, but I really think it's worth it. If you have some extra money in your budget or if you can set aside money and save up for it, I would highly recommend it. But again, if you've got the money for it, I say dive in and go for it. All right, that's it. I'm so glad you joined me for this review to check out BJU Press's uh, Spanish curriculum. If you have any questions, any questions at all, please ask me in the comments and I would be happy to help you with them. Um, you can check out any links in the description below. You can find a link to this curriculum to BJU Press's website. And I really hope this was helpful for you. And what are ways that your family includes diversity and foreign language in your home and your family? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to chat about that. Also, I've got a resource for new homeschool moms. If you are new to homeschooling, it's called Ready, Set, Homeschool. It's my step-by-step -step guide on how to get started homeschooling. I'd love to hold your hand and help you through each step along the way in picking curriculum and getting your, your week set up and everything. Uh, so if you'd like more info on that, check that out in the description or at joyfulnoiselearning.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Joyful noise learning. Yo me llamo Ashley y no tiene un buen acento para español. <laughs>